He took simple country melodies that people already knew, but he wrote about the hard experiences of the people he was singing to. I just blowed in and I got them dust bowl blues. He used no fancy language. It was indeed great ideas and words that the everyday person could understand. Buried my tractor six feet underground. Guthrie could write songs that Dust Bowl refugees understood, because like them, he knew what it was to lose everything. Woody Guthrie was born in 1912 in Okima, Oklahoma, the third of five children. My dad, to start with, was worth about $35,000 or $40,000, and he had everything hunky-dory. Woody grew up in very comfortable circumstances, a large house, there was plenty of money for food and for the necessities of life. Over the next few years, Guthrie's father, Charlie, went broke as his land business bottomed out. The family moved into a series of smaller and smaller houses, and then dilapidated shacks. All us kids had to scatter out and be adopted by different families. I lived with a family of people. There was 11 of us. You could say from that point on, Woody's childhood had ended. Woody he was driven by his need to create. When he discovered it, it came as his torrent. Take me riding in the car, car, take me riding in the car. Thousands of songs. Go to sleep, you weary hobo. Hundreds of drawings and paintings. I've been down and I've been out. I've been disgusted and busted and I couldn't be trusted. Tens of thousands of pages of prose. Woody Guthrie, in some ways, was a, a classic American character. He was the eternal teenager, scrawny, petulant, hilarious, angry, free. He's a good part of who we are, and it's a good part of why American popular music has become the most popular musical art form in the history of the world. It was on Sunday, New York time, we were having a hootenanny, and somebody broke in and said, the Japanese have just bombed Pearl Harbor. This is war. America's at war now. The Almanac singers, once passionately anti-war, reversed their position. Guthrie slapped a sticker on his guitar, announcing his new stance. He retooled some of his old songs and sang them at pro-war rallies. He was a radical. His songs had a radical slant. The ooh, you know, the, that's what I want to sing. I want to sing that. His memoir was published to rave reviews. The New Yorker wrote that Guthrie is a national possession, like Yellowstone or Yosemite, and part of the best stuff this country has to show the world. One guy said, oh, uh, you're singing a Woody Guthrie song. He gave me a book that he wrote called Bound for Glory, and I read it. I identified with Bound for Glory book more than I even did with On the Road. These songs sounded archaic to most people. I don't know why they didn't sound archaic to me. They, they, they sounded like they, these songs were happening at the moment. The music is at the core of what it means to be an American. And as long as there are Americans out there, somebody's going to be singing that stuff, <laughs> you know? And uh, uh, that's the way it ought to be. This life. 